My name is Rebecca Lent. My job is Office Director of International Affairs at NOAA Fisheries. That's the agency in the United States that manages fishery resources and also can, does conservation of marine mammals, protection of species like sea turtles and marine mammals. So my, my job is to make sure that we have good rules in place for managing fishing stocks, both domestically and internationally. Everybody should care about that because these are resources that we all love and enjoy and we share. In many cases, these are fish that we like to eat. We want to make sure that there's always plenty of fish in the sea. Here at the Global Forum, we have 70-plus uh, countries, people coming together to talk about how we can do a better job of managing fisheries. A lot of people have probably heard that we're not always doing a good job. Some of these species are in very bad shape. Atlantic bluefin tuna, which are these fish that grow to be a thousand pounds, they're in very bad shape, and that's primarily because they've not been managed very well. We've set rules that allow too much to be catch and then we to be caught, and then we haven't really monitored the fishery to make sure that people weren't catching too many. So here at the forum, we've been talking about what we can do to do a better job at managing these fishery stocks. What, are the, what's, what other kinds of information we need to make sure we're counting them correctly, assessing how many are in the, in the ocean, and that we're monitoring the fisheries and setting the right kind of rules. And a big theme that came out is how do we make sure people are following the rules? One of the uh, big outcomes of this meeting is a real emphasis on buying the right kind of seafood. If we stop buying the fish that's caught illegally, then the bad guys out there who are fishing illegally will back off because they won't be able to make any money. We're trying to make sure that honest fishermen who are playing by the rules and the countries who are making sure their boats are playing by the rules are rewarded by not having to compete in the market with illegal product. So we talked a lot about that this week. We talked also about aquaculture, which is basically fish farming. If we're not going to go out and catch the fish in the wild, can we farm it? There is a lot of seafood product that is farmed. A lot of salmon and shrimp is actually raised in a pond. It's not a wild cat. When you think about something like cows, obviously we don't have a wild cattle production. It's all farmed. So it, it makes a lot of sense to see how we can pursue these technologies. And it has been growing quite rapidly. But people are concerned about that growth. They think that uh, when we put these offshore pens and nets and, and raise these fish and pump them full of vitamins and antibiotics and some of them escape and mix with the local stock, that that can have um, a bad impact on the wild stocks and also the environment. Because frankly, it's like a concentrated feedlot with a lot of cattle or, or pigs, you can have a waste product that, that's an issue. So we also talked at the forum about how we could do a better job of managing this fish farming so that, uh, again, as a consumer, if I'm going to buy some salmon at the local supermarket, it's probably farm salmon. I want to make sure it's healthy, and I want to make sure that the production of that farm salmon didn't cause an impact on the environment. So uh, looked at those, better fisheries management, better aquaculture management. It was all kind of overshadowed by the issue of climate change, what happens when the water temperature changes, what happens when the sea level rises, how can we uh, manage the fisheries better in that context of climate change. And basically what we discovered is it's only going to make our job harder, climate change. It just adds another variable and more factors that we have to take into account, whether we're looking at what shape the stock is in or what's the best management measure. So those are the, the big issues that we looked at this week in the Fisheries and Aquaculture Working Group. I think all of us are invigorated with new information and ideas. I know I'm taking a lot of stuff home that I want to try to apply in my job every day when I'm writing rules for fishing or when I'm negotiating internationally on better rules for fishing. The goal here for all of us is to have sustainable fisheries so that we can enjoy seafood products, our generation, the next, gener next generation, and healthy products, whether it's from the wild fisheries or from aquaculture. So it's been a great week. We've learned a lot, and we're on our way home to take up our jobs and do even better.